What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So David Gordon Green had revealed three movies that he revisited before pinning Halloween ends with his other co-writers, I'm assuming, because he's not the only one who wrote this movie. Uh, those movies that he listed, and this was again from the Empire Magazine issue, he said the movies he revisited were Christine, which we learned about. Uh, he's also described this movie as a coming of age story. And he asked John Carpenter if it was a little too much like Christine. So we know about that already. The other movie he mentioned was Butcher, Baker, Nightmare Maker. I believe that was the name of it. And then the most interesting one on the list after that was My Bodyguard. He again revealed this in the Empire Magazine issue and also further stated that these movies affected him a lot or affect, they, he said they affected me a lot as a kid and what I took emotionally from them, I'm trying to translate that into a new form. Yeah, so the reason the My Bodyguard stands out the most is because it's about an individual named Clifford who gets bullied at their new school and decides to get aid from an overgrown misfit who strikes fear into the students and teachers at the school, I'm assuming, or on campus. So when looking at the details for the other two on that list as well, one would assume that the idea or the assumptions about what's going to happen with Corey Cunningham and the copycat killer has now all but been confirmed because, of course, it won't be confirmed until uh, for a lot of us, it won't be confirmed until we see the movie. But this, of course, started by piecing together stuff from the teaser. People come to the conclusion that those hands are not Michael's hands, noticing rings on fingers that Michael, of course, would never wear a ring on. Plot the plot log line. And then now this from this David Gordon Green interview where he mentioned the movie My Bodyguard being one of the things he revisited. And when looking at what My Bodyguard is about, that seems to suggest that a lot of what people are assuming will happen and whatever rumors are out there are going to end up being true when it relates to Corey Cunningham's angle in this movie. Now, again, execution is everything. And we'll see if we get exactly what most of us are expecting. A film carried by a boy named Corey who develops a bond with Michael Myers. And after being accused of killing a young boy, he, for whatever reason, is the new Haddonfield target, starts getting bullied. And then him and Michael take out their revenge on those people uh michael in this case of course would be the bodyguard i guess but the problem with this time jump idea so far is that as of now until i see the movie it feels like lori strode's significance is being tossed aside uh now sure again you can say she's the reason some of us will all go out and watch the movie but how many are expecting her to carry the film and how many of course don't care one way or another and they're just going for michael myers anyway so we started off in that 2018 movie with Lori, who has been haunted by those events in the 78 original. She's lost her daughter to the system. She spent her life preparing for Michael's return to get her ruined relationships. And she's the woman who cried wolf in Hatterfield, essentially. So she has a lot of very interesting material to work with. But Michael Myers never goes after her during that night. And later in the night, that same night after he returns, she also further learns that Michael was never after her, which definitely had to do something to her mentality while also raising the question for many, many fans uh, as the question would be, well, why is she still here? Here's the thing. Halloween Kills effectively gave you a reason, and it's a very profound reason that they could have built into for Halloween Ends, and I'm sure that's the direction they were going to go with. Uh, that reason for why Lori is still here is Karen. While, while in Kills, that dialogue might have eradicated or brought down her role in 2018, the reasoning behind what they could have done with ends was planted in kills and they're seemingly not doing that so far from what i i have seen and what details are coming out they're not doing it they are not doing that kills gave you karen the death of karen the daughter she spent her life trying to protect from the boogeyman ended up dying at his very hand now sure you could say well Lori might have some guilt because if she never trained karen like that in her childhood then maybe karen wouldn't have thought she could outsmart michael which got her killed for her efforts but still what had been established is that even if michael isn't after Lori, 
Now, Lord definitely has a good reason to go after Michael. So I'm certain again that ends was going to be set in the same night before this new idea was born. I just find that Lori's character is being downgraded to the back seat in the worst way possible. If Corey Cunningham actually obtains Michael's mask and then Michael tracks him down to Lori's, it's just another coincidence for why these two have a final confrontation because you could argue they don't even have a conflict anymore because Lori isn't after him in ends and he isn't after her in ends. Perhaps it wouldn't have or perhaps what would have been better is if they let Michael, let's say, rediscover a picture of Lori from the reporters in that 2018 movie before he killed them and let that obsession he had in 78 just be reignited. She doesn't have to be his sister or anything, but at least there's something to work with because the coincidental battles that they're having, that's not enough. And a lot of people would argue that it's unrealistic and I wouldn't even blame you if you chose to argue that. So they had a central conflict that ends could have built on from the ending of Kill and it just seems like it isn't doing that based on what we've learned so far and again it just feels like the level of importance Lori has is being completely ignored in favor of this new narrative but yet you still kept Lori in the movie the the, the problem I'm seeing here with this is that again Halloween ends more than likely should have gone down the rabbit hole of giving Lori the center stage one last time because of the fact that in kills in 2018 kills basically seemed like her 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 resting point and then she was supposed to pick it back up with ends you gave her a narrative to go off of and motivation to go after michael yeah she just learned that michael isn't after her but she now has more than enough reason to go after him so that same trauma and stuff that she's now learned she kind of wasted 40 years of her life on that's fine, but Michael has now given her a reason to put an end to it once and for all. We could have had a narrative and a film focused on her hunting Michael, going out back into the night with Allison, and seeing her process all of this. She had a very compelling narrative that could have been established going into Halloween Ends to kind of carry off into that same night and see her process that and see her get revenge for her daughter. See her come to grips with everything she's wasted the past 40 years on and using that as motivation for why she ultimately, of course, needs to put an end to Michael Myers. But we're not getting that. We're getting Corey Cunningham, which is why in a lot of ways, until I see the movie, I feel that they're doing a disservice to Laurie Strode. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and there is a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to discover or you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.